Hey guys, um, welcome to the vlog today. So today is a very special day. It is Anthony and I's wedding anniversary. Today marks four years of marriage between us two. Four years, oh my gosh, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to think like four years ago, I would have never known that we would have celebrated our four year an wedding anniversary in the middle of a pandemic, me pregnant with baby number two, <laughs> already having one kid, and also going through the craziness of um, selling our house and doing all that and buying a new house. Like, I would have never guessed that. I probably would have guessed that we had, would have at least had one kid. I mean, four years of marriage. You would think you'd have a kid by then. So that makes sense. But everything else, like, wow, that's so crazy. So, yes, things are a little crazy here. But we're taking time today to celebrate each other. It is a Thursday. Um, July 30th is our anniversary and so Anthony is at work this morning but I made dinner reservations at the melting pot they have um, locations all over the US I think we've never been to one but there's one at a mall not too far away from us so I made reservations tonight and it's one of those places where you basically you cook your own food and they give you like cheese fondue and like um, chocolate so you can like dip the food in it and so I thought that just sounded kind of different and fun and so we're gonna check it out and see if we like it or not it is pretty expensive though but usually we go out once a year on our anniversary to an expensive dinner and so this is our expensive dinner so I'll let you guys know how that went Anthony yesterday came home from work with these beautiful flowers Kelly my sister got me these flowers um, a couple weeks ago they're actually holding up pretty well but Anthony got me these flowers and they are super pretty they have these really pretty white ones these pink roses and I don't know what kind of flower these are but they're really really pretty so he got me that every year for our anniversary we do um, the traditional wedding gifts so one year it was paper, one year it was leather, one year it was cotton this year it's flowers and fruit which is really strange and weird so anthony got me the flowers he said he had an idea for the fruit but because of coronavirus like he couldn't get it but he said he'd tell me more about it tonight so we'll see what he has in mind i got anthony i'll just tell you guys now because it'll be after once i post this like it'll be our anniversary will be over obviously so I got him for the flowers, I got him a cologne that had a flower scent in it. Not sure if he will like it or not, but hey, it's something different and new. And then for the fruit portion, I got him a fruit flavored beer. So I went to the store and I got him this um, beer and it has grapefruit infused in it. It's an IPA and Anthony does like IPAs, so hopefully he likes it. He's I, I don't know. If he hates it, we'll just throw it away. But I kind of got a little creative with mine because I was like, well, I don't really want to give him flowers because I knew he was going to get me flowers. And then I was like, fruit, like I buy fruit from the store all the time. Like it's just a weird gift this year, but whatever. So that is what we're doing. I went to the store yesterday and bought cake. It was $5. As you can see, it's just chocolate cake. Um, every year for our anniversary, we get cake. Anthony doesn't really like cake, but I get it. I mean, obviously the first year you're supposed to eat um, like the top tier of your wedding cake. And so just every year after that, I've always gotten us a cake. One year I did a ice cream cake. We've done all sorts of cakes. So I just got a little one because um, I knew we weren't gonna eat much and we'll probably have dessert at um, dinner. But I got that because we have a cake cutting set that has, it's like personalized, has our names and our wedding date on it. And then I also got just like some lemonade because we use our champagne glasses. I figured if Anthony wants, he can like pour his beer in there, but I wasn't about to go and get champagne because I'm pregnant, so I can't drink it. And I'm not gonna buy a whole bottle for Anthony. He probably won't drink it all himself. So that's our plan. I'll give Anthony my gifts tonight. After dinner, we'll have cake and lemonade or beer or whatever. <laughs> and yeah, we'll just kind of celebrate each other. So I will insert a couple pictures here of our wedding day four years ago. I feel like we basically look the same, but you guys can let me know if you think differently. <laughs>
great day. It was sunny. It did rain a little bit, but it was just in the morning. We were able to get outdoor pictures. The whole day just goes by in a blur, honestly. So it's good. We have videos of the day. We didn't do a videographer because they're just way too expensive, but we did like just have videos on a home recorder. So we have those to watch. Anthony hates watching her wedding. I love it, but he's not that into it. So we have all that going on. On top of all that and everything else going on in our lives, my computer went dead. Well, kind of. So, and I should have showed you guys. I actually just dropped it off at the FedEx store. So I use my computer every day. I love my computer. It's, I have a MacBook Pro. Anthony got me a new one like four years ago for Christmas. It was awesome and I love it. I love my MacBook. I take good care of it. I do let Grayson use it here and there, but like it's not that big of a deal. I supervise him when he uses it. He just likes to watch YouTube videos on it. Anyway, one day um, my screen just went black on my MacBook Pro. Don't know why it happened. After doing a lot of stuff to my computer and trying to get it to work, I was finally only able to get it to work if I crack the screen just like a tiny bit, then the screen would come on and my computer would be like normal. If I were to adjust the screen and put it at a 90 degree angle like I usually have it, the screen would turn black. My computer would still be on because I could hear video playing through the speakers. I could um, see the button light up by turning on the caps lock key and stuff, but the screen would be black and I couldn't get the screen to come back. Anyway, I took it to multiple people. I took it to Best Buy. I took it to like this I fix it, you break it store. Um, Best Buy was like, your computer, um, there's something wrong with the, oh, what did they say? I can't remember what they said, but they were like something wrong with the circuit board or something. You need a totally new computer. Don't even try fixing this took it to the sketchy, um, I break it, you fix it store. And they said, uh, it's your display cable. We can fix it for you, but it will be $530. I was not about to pay that. <laughs> so um, I told Anthony about it and he did some research online and he actually found that apparently with that MacBook, um, Apple had a problem where like they put the display cable too close to like the heater on the laptop. Basically it would cause like the heat from the computer would cause the display cable to like fizzle out and stop working. And so we think that's what's going on with my computer. And thankfully with this issue, Apple said that they would be replacing this and fixing this for free. So I called Apple, I was on hold for like 30 minutes. I would have taken it into an Apple store, except our Apple store at our local mall has been closed for, due to coronavirus. The closest one to me is like 70 miles away and I was not about to drive there. So I called them and they said, yep, your computer meets those guidelines um, when it was made and purchased and whatever. And so basically what they did was they sent me a box to put my computer in. I have to ship it to them and hopefully they can fix it and ship it back. So that's what I just did. I put it in the box, I took it to the FedEx store and hopefully they can fix it for me and hopefully it'll be free. We will see. I hope I get my computer back. <laughs> um, I did back it up. It didn't have that much on it to begin with. I just, I use that computer to um, like edit my, these videos and things like that. But worst comes to worst, if it's dead and they can't fix it and I'll just get a new computer. So hopefully they can fix it for free, but we will see. So I have all that going on. On top of all this other stuff going on, Anthony and I are actually going on vacation tomorrow. We're just going for a quick little weekend trip to Charleston, South Carolina. The Allegiant flights were super cheap there. And so we're just gonna go. Um, my grandpa was able to get us like a free hotel stay with his points. We're only going um, Friday through Monday. So it's just a quick little weekend trip. Anthony's taking Friday and Monday off of work. And we're gonna go, we're just gonna sightsee and have a little baby moon before this baby comes. So we are excited about it. Lots of things going on. Um, I'll try and record a little bit of dinner tonight and um, our cake and celebration and things like that. But yeah, lots of things going on here. My head is just spinning trying to keep up with everything. Is that pineapple? Or is that pound cake? 
This is pineapple. Oh, pineapple. <laughs> we got chocolate and all these desserts. And no fruit. room for it. And no room. <laughs> this is my last course and we're so stuffed. Yum. Hey guys, so I ended up not recording any more of our anniversary yesterday. Um, we went out to dinner, which I took a really quick clip of that. It was super fun and so much food. We had four courses. We had a cheese fondue, we had a salad, then we cooked our own meats. Anthony had like a combination of like chicken and steak and shrimp, and I just did steak. And then uh, we did a dessert of just different desserts dipped in chocolate. The dessert was definitely my favorite. Um, then we came back and we watched a movie. We watched this movie called Airplane, which is from like the 80s. It was not good. <laughs> it has a really high rating on like all these rating websites and stuff and Rotten Tomatoes has it at like a 97, but I just did not get the comedy of it. <laughs> and we ended up both falling asleep before we could finish the movie and then we just went to bed. So it's the next day. Um, we are about to head to the airport. It's early in the morning. Our flight's at um, 9.30 and it's only an hour and a half flight. So it should be really fast. I have our suitcase packed. We're just bringing one suitcase. We're only going for like three days. So it's gonna be a fast trip, but I'm really excited for us to go. And I hope to take some clips while we were out on our vacation. So sorry that I didn't get more uh, vlogging material. We didn't even eat the cake. We didn't use the champagne flutes at all. We were just so tired. We're old people now, I guess. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.